Welcome to the forages section of the Penn State Dairy MOOC. I'm Greg Groth, Professor of Agronomy at Penn State in the Department of Plant Sciences. Forages are the non-grain crops that are fed to dairy cows. In common dairy farm forages would be legumes like alfalfa and clover, or grasses such as ryegrass and orchard grass. And others might be grain crops like corn grown for silage, or small grains, or sorghums harvested for forage. Forages are critical on the dairy farm and they play multiple roles. And it's really important that everyone on the farm understand the objectives of forage management on the farm to achieve its success. On a basic level, forages provide some or the entire ration for the dairy animals on the farm. But in reality, their role is a bit more complex. Let's review a few of the important roles forages play on the dairy farm. Having a good grasp of these helps us better understand the role of forages and how we can manage them to achieve these goals. A fundamental role of forages is to provide high quality, healthy feed to keep animals healthy and maximize their performance. Forages should not be too moldy or harvested too late when the quality is reduced. And dairy producers should be aware of these issues and try to avoid them through careful management of their fields and machinery. By managing the forage as well and producing crops with high energy and protein levels, we can often significantly reduce the need for other supplemental feeds. And this will lead to another key role of forages, which is to minimize purchase feed costs, which is an important financial indicator on many dairy farms. On many farms, forages are combined in the ration with supplements or grains, such as this soybean meal, to optimize production. And these can represent significant costs to the dairy farm. In some cases, an expensive input can be offset with homegrown forages, and this can have a big impact on these purchase feed costs. This in turn can improve what we call income over feed costs. Another role of the forage system is to try to reduce the forage production costs through both high yields and or lower inputs and producers need to carefully select the crops and varieties that are adapted to farms while scrutinizing crop production inputs to keep costs low. Lower forage production costs can also help improve the farm profitability. Since forages often represent about 50% or more of the feed costs on the farm. If the cost of the production is high for a particular forage, then the best solution may be to purchase some of those forages. Forages should also strive to provide feed for the various animal groups on the farm. On a dairy farm, there's often different animal groups, like lactating cows, dry cows, heifers, and calves. And each of these groups have some specific requirements and forages grown on the farm can help meet those rations. For example, lactating cows need forages with high fiber digestibility, whereas dry cows need forages that are lower in potassium and can utilize pastures well. So ideally, the farm's forage system will have the capability to meet the different needs of these animals. As part of this, the forage system must be designed to provide seasonal availability of forages, either through grazing, multiple harvests per year, or year-round storage options. In some parts of the world, animals can graze year-round, but in many areas, feed must be stored for long periods. These storage tactics can be significant cost to the dairy and can also contribute to some forage quality issues. On this dairy, we see a well-managed bunker silo as providing corn silage, which is a high yielding, relatively low cost, consistent feed on a year round basis for the herd. The forages on the dairy farm must also play a role to manage the nutrients in the manure that's applied to the farm. Ideally, dairy farms should have forage crops that utilize the manure and keep the manure nutrients from contaminating ground and surface water supplies. Crops like grass hay fields or small grain cover crops can be very good in this regard as they need lots of nitrogen and potassium and reduce runoff during the winter months in many areas. The forage system must also contribute to managing the soils and pests sustainably. For example, soil nutrient levels must be monitored to avoid depletion or creating excessive levels. We also need to avoid depleting the soil organic matter and use tactics like crop rotation, reduced tillage, or strip cropping. On this farm, 
corn silage is being grown using no-till and rotated with a small grain cover crop to reduce erosion, improve soil organic matter levels. So we've learned that the role of forages is complicated on dairy farms, and there's lots of things to think about and manage regarding these issues. Fortunately, there are a number of tools that dairy producers have at their disposal to address some of these issues. A plan might start with a forage inventory plan, describing the amounts of forages the farm anticipates needing for the year. This should include the estimated feeding and storage losses, which can often total 15 to 20 percent. Next would be a crop production plan with all the fields identified, with projected forage production from each. This helps match the crops with the best soils and helps to plan the crop rotation. A nutrient management plan would be useful to help allocate manure to fields based on the crop needs and soil test levels. This helps to reduce the environmental impacts from crop production and manure applications. A cropping budget estimates the cost of production for the forages on the farm, and this can help to decide whether to grow or purchase forages. Now, once an overall plan is developed, then it must be executed well and continually refined through reevaluation. Execution of the production plan involves pulling together the skills and equipment to plant, harvest, and store the forages on a timely basis. And this is often a substantial undertaking on most farms. The evaluation phase involves the assessment of yields, forage quality, soil fertility, and profitability. The evaluations are done with tools like forage analysis, soil test reports, and estimates of income over feed costs from our financial advisors. Then each year, Based on input from these sources, the forage production plan is updated and refined. And over time, with careful execution and planning, many well-managed farms develop systems that allow them to meet many of the goals that we've discussed with their forage system. Hopefully now you have an appreciation of the fundamentals of forage production systems on successful dairy farms. In future lessons, we will discuss some of the specifics of successful forage management on these dairy farms.